Welcome to Electra Online. Another very interesting application for related rates types of problems is what we call the adiabatic expansion. Here we have a gas that is expanded to some process and if we had an initial volume of 2800 cubic centimeters and an initial pressure of 200 kilopascals and let's say that because of the expansion the change in the pressure per unit time is changing at a rate of minus 2 kilopascals per second since the pressure is decreasing what will be the change in the volume per unit time at that time with an adiabatic expansion when we start out with the general gas equation PV equals nRT we realize of course not here but if we work the equation and understand the adiabatic process that there's a relationship between pressure and volume it turns out that for a gas that is diatomic such as air that the pressure times the volume to the 1.4 power equals a constant if that's true we can use that equation to try to find the rate of change of volume with respect to time for an, for an adiabatic expansion what we're going to do here is take the derivative of that equation on both sides with respect to time so we get the ddt of p times v to the 1.4 power equals the ddt of a constant of course the derivative of a constant is zero so the right side will be zero but what about the left side well, on the left side we have a product so we take the first times the derivative of the second which means 1.4 times v to the exponent minus 1 which is 0 0.4 power times the derivative of v which is dv dt plus the second which is v to the 1.4 power times the derivative of the first which would be dp dt see here do we have that right it's a first times the derivative of the second I better put parentheses there and I don't need parentheses there so it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first equals the derivative of constant which is zero now looking back to see what we're looking for here so we're looking for dv dt and we have one dv dt here that means we have to isolate that from everything else so we'll start with moving this to the other side so we end up with 1.4 p times v to the 0 0.4 power times dv dt is equal to the negative of v to the 1.4 power times dp dt and we know what the volume is and we know what dp dt is so if we divide everything by this we get dv dt is equal to v to the 1.4 power times dp dt divided by 1.4 p times v to the 0 0.4 power and that's it that's the coefficient of dv dt now luckily we have a v to the 1.4 power and v to the 0 0.4 power we can simplify that so this can be written as v to the first power dp dt divided by 1.4 p so we don't have to work with any fractional exponents all right now we're ready to plug in what we know the volume start at 2800 cubic centimeters the dpdt is a negative 2 kilopascals per second and 1.4 times pressure and the initial pressure is 200 kilopascals so 1.4 times that and the kilopascals cancel out the 1.4 goes into 2.8 that would be two times so it would be 20 instead of 28 and those two zeros cancel out with those two zeros and this two cancel out with those two wow that makes it easy and then finally when we collect everything that's left we're left with the dv dt is equal to a minus where did my minus go my minus minus 20 cubic centimeters per second so minus 20 cubic centimeters per second and that would be the rate of change to the volume with respect to time in this particular adiabatic expansion and that's how it's done